see, so I paint a bit more. As you can see, once you get the it, so the supports and stuff, it's much easier. So like, if I wanted to do another row, go through the one sticking out. So, let's say you know when you have a thread, but you still need to put more thread in because this was enough. Make sure you have enough to go at least one more round across. So, what you do. Is you take a needle and go in up there. There, that's the wrong one. Ignore that one. Go. Remember. You want to tie a knot, so push it through your beads and wrap the string around it so it's tie a knot between the beads and pull it tight. Then just string it through like that. I don't know if the camera's focusing all the time because the computer's behind me. If it's really long, tie a knot in the middle. This isn't very long, so I'm just going to not do that. There. 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 Stick it there. Tie a knot. You stick out the last one and you cut your thing. And to add a new string, you go back in the way you came, put it in that blue one, make sure you have a tail, then you tie another knot right here. Yep, my needle fell off. Didn't tie a knot on that. In the tie a knot all the way across. Just catching fingers. And then when you get to the end, like before, tie another knot between these two. Then you go like this. You're back at the side you're sewing at. And you can grab a bead and continue on. This row would be a little, probably be a little harder to get through because you have so many passes of string, especially with the lower, the smaller beads. I missed the whole bead there. Make sure you don't do that, it'll mess you up. Do the last one. Here we are. That's the basic priority. So hopefully you got that. And finishing with all the strings. I need to remember how to do that so I can't show you that right now. Yeah, that's the basics.